Hello, voters of Dixon. My name is Thor Prohaska, and I'm standing again as an independent candidate for this electorate because Dixon needs a representative in Parliament that is committed to representing what the informed majority in the electorate wants. I was born and raised in North Queensland, lived in Victoria, New South Wales and South Australia. I've worked as a labourer, public servant, sales rep, taxi driver, and for most of my career in IT. I was a pioneer of snowboarding in Australia, and I predicted the internet five years before the World Wide Web happened. I've lived in the electorate of Dixon for 19 years, raising a family of four. This is the seventh time I've stood for elected office since 2013. I was the independent candidate for Dixon in 2016 and 2019. Henry David Thoreau, who lived in the 1800s and was an American naturalist, essayist, poet, and philosopher, well known for his essay, Civil Disobedience, an argument for disobedience to an unjust state. In addressing the philanthropists of the day, he said, there are a thousand hacking at the branches of evil to one who is striking at the root and that helping the needy directly rather than fixing what is causing their problems just perpetuates those problems. I say the many problems that citizens, activists, politicians and other concerned parties are trying to address and fix are these branches of evil and symptoms of a deeper problem with our system of government. We see that the root of that deeper problem is that there's no constitutional or legal requirement that our elected reps must vote as directed by the majority of informed voters. I say this is by design because history shows that over the centuries, those with power who are threatened by increasing democracy have found ways to restrain and deflect the full adoption of democracy. To be a democracy, when push comes to shove, the people must have the final say on votes in parliament. Without this, we are nothing more than an elected oligarchy where the donors and mates get the elected reps to vote for whatever they want and not what we need. It's our contention that fixing this root problem will permanently address the majority of these symptoms. To make this happen, the Dixon representatives have developed a direct representative model with the backing IT tech that provides multiple ways for voters to tell their elected reps how they want them to vote on bills. Over the next three years, it will be our goal to register all Dixon voters so they can vote themselves on bills or select a community and or bill representative to vote on their behalf. In parallel, establish and operate local voter groups to debate and reach consensus on bills, both in the real world and online, and to identify and develop candidates for election. Our website, dixonreps.net, lays out the engagement options we are offering the voters to directly have their say on bills or to choose a community representative to manage that for them. It is all well and good to be able to determine what the majority in the electorate want, but as stated earlier, there is no obligation for the elected member to vote that way. To fix this constitutional gap, I have personally signed a statutory declaration legally committing myself to vote as the majority want or potentially face a four-year jail term. You can see this signed stat deck on the thor4dixon.net website. So if you want real democracy and not an elected oligarchy masquerading as a democracy, then you need to vote one Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.